Hi everyone, I am Kate. We are continuing our series of lessons on polygonal modeling, and today we are going to learn the selection section of Editable Poly. Let's isolate the object for convenience. At the top of the section, there are five types of subobjects. We can select them by clicking or using the hotkeys from one to five. Let's select the polygons for clarity and start working with them. The first function is selection by vertex. It allows you to select polygons adjacent to the vertex you have chosen. This is useful for selecting polygons that converge on a vertex, as in our example. The back face function allows you to ignore polygons facing away from you when selecting subobjects. The occluded function allows you to ignore subobjects that are not visible. Let me demonstrate this from a different angle. It's actually a very specific option and rarely useful in practice. The next function is select by angle. It allows you to select adjacent polygons based on the specified angle between them. For example, let's set it to 40 degrees. If the angle between the polygons matches the specified value, it will be selected automatically. The higher the value I set, the sharper the angles it'll detect. In practice, this can be used, for example, to select parts of rounded objects. I select the polygons, activate by angle, one click, and I'm done. It's very convenient, especially when working with complex geometry. Next are the shrink and grow functions, which allow you to select or deselect polygons adjacent to the selected ones. The loop and ring functions are available in the edge subobject. These functions make it very convenient to select parallel edges or a line of edges. You can use these arrows to move the selection vertically or horizontally. Next, I'll show you some quick selection methods. There are many of them, but they're very simple. I recommend that you memorize and practice them, as they'll significantly speed up your work in 3ds Max. Select a subobject by simply clicking on it. Double click on an edge to select an edge loop. Double click while holding the Ctrl key to extend the selection. Double click while holding the Alt to deselect an edge loop. If you select an edge and then select an adjacent edge while holding down the Ctrl key, all parallel edges are selected. This shortcut replaces the ring function. This works for both vertices and polygons. You can also select a segment by holding the Ctrl key and clicking the ends of the desired segment. Double-clicking a vertex or polygon selects the entire element. These methods also work for deselecting. Hold the Alt key to deselect a segment or edge loop. These functions are combined with the vertex and angle selection functions. The Ctrl plus I shortcut inverts the selection. By holding the Shift key, you can create a consistent selection line. This is useful for selecting a specific contour. You can also select sub-objects by moving from one to another while holding the Ctrl key. For example, I'll take this vertex, hold down Ctrl, and click on the polygons. All polygons adjacent to this point will be selected. This works similarly with all the sub-objects. The last block of functions is Preview Selection. When it's enabled, we see a preview of the selected subobject. By holding the Ctrl key, we can start painting the area and then confirm the selection with a left mouse click. To deselect, you can hold Ctrl plus Alt and paint over the area you want to deselect. In multi-mode, you can select everything at once. In my opinion, this is not very useful because you have to precisely target the sub-object to activate it. 
the other sub-objects also get highlighted, which is very confusing and doesn't work well. Let's disable this option because the classic mode is the simplest and most convenient. So that's at the end of the tutorial. Subscribe if you enjoyed it and also join us on Patreon to make learning even easier. See you soon.